Welcome to Ready Set RC, and today we are in the pit with the Team Corrali Radix 6. And we're really here to talk about the Power Hobby Armor Belted Tires. And these are belted buggy tires. This fits a 17 millimeter hex that they go on to any eight scale buggy. In this video, you're gonna see we did a couple ripping with it, but I had only one issue and it wasn't even with the tire. I had recently did some work on the shocks and I forgot to put the nut on. I didn't notice it until I actually got out there, ripped it, and the first time it came off, I just remembered that I had forgot to put the nut on. So the run was pretty short. I was still able to get some good data on these tires to see how they performed. I like how they hooked up, probably not for my Radix 6, because this setup is more so for on-road, and what I mean by the setup is the diffs are currently set up more for an on-road application than off-road. For you guys that are not familiar with this RC on my channel, I set this up to run on-road, so it's running a lighter diff fluid setup on it, and that's not really good for when you're trying to run off-road. What I was finding with these tires is that there was losing a lot of traction in regards to the rear, so the rear is breaking out maybe a little bit more than I wanted to, and the rear was just slipping and also spinning out. I think if I tune the diffs for off-road application, I would see a better performance out of these tires. I got another RC I want to try these tires on, and I, will, and I will come back to you guys with a report on that. But for right now, you're going to see the run with the Power Hobby armors on the Radix 6. Enjoy the video. Running on 6S. I wanted to try out these Power Hobby armor tires. These are belted tires, belted off-road tires from, from Power Hobby, and I wanted to see how these perform. Mainly, I run this car on road, running it with a either a 15-tooth or a 16-tooth pinion. Haven't, I've changed that in a while. And I went with 60 weight shock oil in the front, but I actually had to tune the shocks out again. And I, enjoy the video, guys. I wanted to test out with the speed on this. Just trying to get an average as to what it what it does. I do have speeds off-road, so I want to see what it does on-road too. This area is not as big as it may look. And my GPS is is dying already, so. Ooh, what is that on there? Is that was that a leaf? Before I got up to speed, I want to see what was that. Oh my God, one of the shocks came out already. How the hell did that happen? That's not gonna last. It's not gonna last. I don't know what happened, but Looks like one of the shocks popped off. I'm gonna keep it light. I'm a little upset that I can't figure out the true speed on this, but let's try to rip it and see what happens. That's full. Let's try it again. Let's see if that shock's back on. Yeah, let's go. Only burst it for full for a little second. Let's try it again. That's full. Oh! I don't know what's right there. Let's bring her in. See what speeds we did. Oh, good thing I didn't lose this. So, 48. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I think I got it up to either 69 or 70 on road. So, this is with the same setup. The only difference is the tires on this. Same setup that I took it on road. Lost close to 21 miles per hour on there. So, 
not bad not bad if you know just with the traction of the dirt and everything noticing that i'm losing that much on there it's not bad tires not not a bad run keep in mind guys i didn't really hit it full too hard i mean i think i got a good run on 4s i mean i think i got a good run with it on full throttle but i really like the radix 6 it's such a stable car Oh, that one's failing. Let's get this one in. So much power. Now I have no idea how these perform off-road in this location uh, compared to the stock wheels and tires because uh, I never drove this car in the stock. I mean, I never drove this car with the stock tires here before. But uh, I'm noticing a good amount of grip. This probably would be perfect at my the first location I ran this buggy. Oh, she rips. And the ESC is still running with the stock setting too, guys. I have it. Change the ESC on this. Oh, that shock is real. I'm going to push it for as long as I can with that shock popping out. I won't hit the jumps with it because I know every jump I hit, I'm just going to keep popping out that shock and that's not worth it. Plus, it won't land properly. So, we're going to keep it to just ripping it around. I notice I'm not getting much traction with these tires in the front end though. But as I said, I'd like to see how the stock tires perform in this location. I haven't driven them here before. But just for straight up off-road rips, they're not bad guys. I'm seeing, that's the only thing is that I'm not full throttle when I'm trying to punch it. I'm not on full throttle while I'm trying to get it over here. And it tends to do a spin out just as I'm trying to get it on throttle. I gotta, you gotta ease into it with these tires. See like that? Yeah, the back is gonna get from out of you. If you try to get on the throttle for even half. And that could be a little bit of a, a tuning of the diffs, but I'll be honest with you, I never had to tune the diffs when I was running the stock tires. So I'm going to say it's the tires on this. Plus with a bug, with this buggy and the way I drive it, I want to keep the diffs a little light. I don't need heavy diff oil for on-road driving. But for bashing, not bad. I have another buggy I could test this on. Yeah, not quite a buggy. So I got to see how those ty these tires perform on this more than anything else. 
but they give you some serious get up on them guys i mean once the throttle is once the car is pointing in the direction you need to it looks like you're going to get the traction you need i think for this car i would have to tune the diffs out a little bit to get them to perform a little bit better Yeah, because then I get that. It like, ugh, I mean, the shock's probably out too. <laughs> this thing is such a demon. I'm not full throttle guys. I wish I had my other camera mount on me right now so you guys could see it. I'm actually using a new camera mount. The only problem is that the camera keeps failing where you guys can actually see the controller. But that's not even full throttle. That is. Yeah, she's just fishing everywhere. Ooh, shot came out again. We're gonna wrap it up here, guys. So guys, what do I think of the Power Hobby belted armor tires? I like them, I like them. I think for this buggy, it may not work so well because the diffs need to be tuned to kind of drive it. And that's because I think I'm just getting way too much power bleeding to the rear and the center diff may need to be tuned. The front and rear diffs may need to be tuned, but for how I normally run this, I'm not tuning them. I like my diffs a little light. Uh, this, this buggy really is more for on-road for me. I don't really drive it off-road. As I said, this is probably the second time I've driven this car off-road versus all the times I've driven it on-road. So, but my assessment on these tires, tires and wheels, these are pretty good guys. I'm getting a lot of traction on here, especially for this location where a lot of it is loose dirt, gravel, really low grass. But I find that the, these tires really do hook up very well. You may want to check them out for yourself. And where I got these tires and wheels, I got them from my local hobby shop, uh, Willis Hobbies. Easily found there or online guys, uh, if you're looking for them. But we're gonna leave it here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram for our latest posts to the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.